Hello everybody, and this is Justin, the Snap-on Junkie. And uh, today we're going to be testing the new uh, EECT, uh, like, um, it's called a Multi-Probe Ultra. Okay, and what this thing kind of is, is uh, this is what it looks like. Um, you have an LED light that you can turn on and off. Um, it's kind of just like a, a power probe type thing, but... Uh, it has a whole bunch more features on it that makes it, you know, uh, a pretty nifty little tool, really. Uh, it has this really nice LED sc LCD screen, you know, all colored, uh, very simplified buttons. Okay, and what this thing is kind of designed to take the place of is like a power probe. And you can see the one difference here is like the power probe. Uh, thing is up here on the top so if you're sticking it into something you know it's not really pointing at you where this thing is pointing right at you so and also it has a feature on it to kind of use like a multimeter type thing so let me show you some of the features and stuff like this <clears throat> um, now my tool guy gave me this demo thing here uh, to kind of show you guys uh, out there on the World Wide Web or the YouTubes how this thing works. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do is uh, when it pops up, um, it gives you all these different options. So I'm just going to run down the little things that shows you all the stuff that this thing can do. And uh, hopefully you get a better understanding of what it is and how it works and uh, how awesome this thing pretty, it, pretty uh, is. So what you want to do is first thing you would want to select, uh, we're going to go to VDC. Uh, we hit uh, menu, okay? And then this little screen pops up. And what this does over here is you can control uh, like uh, what fuse breaker or circuit breaker it has in the, uh, you know, whatever you're testing or whatever. It'll tell you all that stuff. Uh, you can do like DC volts, hot start. Uh, this is how you check batteries and things like that. So we'll get back to this and I'll show you what it does. So what it is is you can press it to here, okay? And it tells us we have 12.5 volts at this thing. Um, it's got a pretty wide range. I mean, it'll go down to, this is five volts and it says we have 4.99. And then this is uh, 24 volts, and it tells us that we have uh, 23.9. <clears throat> so we'll go over here to this, okay? And this is like a circuit diagnosis or things like that. So we leave it on the same setting, okay? Now you can see, uh, you can touch this probe, okay? And it'll tell you exactly how much bolts you got on the positive. Uh, and all that stuff and all these three are about the same this is 11.9 this one's 12.3 so then you're like well you know what you can do is you can see here that I turned all this stuff off uh, because there's a problem with the switch now uh, let's say if we come over here okay we got ground uh, why isn't this thing working well, okay uh, we don't have very good power here. Then all you do is you hit the plus button. Okay. And as you can see here, it'll light up this light, you know, kind of telling you that you got it. Okay. And it'll also do ground. So let's say here, uh, we got 12 on the positive side. We got 12 volts. Well, that means we got to have a problem with the ground. So you can come over here with the ground and you can see it's not very good. And then what you do is you hit the negative button. Uh, this light pops up and it kind of, it'll make the light come on. So that's one little feature, okay? Then doing the same thing, uh, we can come in here. We're gonna go to, we're looking for amp. Okay, so it'll, we can hit menu okay and then we can come over here and test uh, this stuff and what you do is you hit the plus plus button again the positive button if you're on the positive side of your connector 
and uh, you can see it'll give you a whole bunch of all these numbers. It'll tell you how many ohms, how many amps uh, this little light is using. Okay, and then you can come over here to the ground and you hit the ground button and it'll tell you how many ohms like resistance and how many amps are going back down uh, through the ground. So it's kind of showing you, you know, it'll do a wide array of stuff here. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, ohms and stuff like that or amps. Now what you can do is you can go into this ohm switch. So it'll look like this. You hit menu. Okay, and then you hook up your ground uh, to your common thing and it'll tell you uh, resistance here once I get it hooked up. Okay, like uh, this number 13 here is supposed to be uh, 500 ohms, I guess. So you hit that and it'll tell you, yes, I have 500 there. Uh, here's like 5K, it'll tell you all that. And it'll tell you this, all that stuff, okay? So there's that feature. Um, then we're going to go to VAC, okay? And uh, it's got like hertz, like this is your terms and values on this side. Uh, you can turn, you can click all to this stuff differently. I'm just going to put it in Hertz, okay? Then what you do is you can touch it to this probe. I guess it's just showing you. Uh, and you can see that when I flip this button, it kind of gives me uh, live readings and things like that. Okay, then if you come over here to 24, uh, you can use this, and it'll kind of switch the values for you. So if you didn't have a switch, uh, you can run through and it'll tell you all these different uh, things like, you know, how much duty it has. Um, this is the Hertz. Uh, this is the uh, term, so it'd be uh, how many volts are going to there. And if you turn this switch, you know, it just lets you do a whole bunch of different stuff here. Okay. All right, so then we go back to, we can go to amps, hit menu. Okay, then we come over here and we hook this to uh, this one down here. We can turn on. Now we're powering this fan uh, and it gives us our resistance, how many amps we're drawing and all that stuff. It'll go to minimum or maximum. Uh, you can set that switch and things like that. And this will work in this configuration and in this configuration. Uh, so this is uh, direct volts, direct current. Uh, you hit the positive button again, it lights up. It tells you, yes, we have 12.4, we're matching the battery, and we're like power, powering up this circuit so you can figure out if you have a bad relay or anything like that. Okay, and then another thing this thing does uh, is it has a built-in uh, some kind of uh, and this is internal circuit breaker. So uh, what we want to do here is touch probe to this, okay? And then we hit zero. We can come down here to the circuit breakers, okay? We can put this in, and what it does is it protects the tool. So it's telling us it's too much, 
Okay, then what you can do is dial up your circuit breaker, hit that, and it'll tell you, you know, all this different stuff. So, uh, there you go, guys. This is the new ETC thing. Now, I really like this thing. Um, I was not gonna, uh, I was not gonna get one of these, but uh, since I got this demo here and things like that, uh, I think I'm gonna buy one of these and trade in uh, my Power Probe 3 for this type of thing because I like this system, and not just because it's a snap on one, I'm not trying to tell you that, but I like this screen and really all the different functions uh, you can use and things like that. So I just thought I'd do this quick demonstration to kind of show you guys what this thing does, how it works, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, like always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Alrighty guys, thank you for today and thanks for watching this video.